we have here a propeller and it is said to be uh, aerodynamically balanced and we consider it to be aerodynamically balanced when the aerodynamic forces acting on the blades result in no periodic vibrations in the mountings so each blade will produce an equal amount of thrust if we had different amount of thrust you know if 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 this propeller was producing more thrust than this propeller then the shaft would want to move up in this direction and then when the blade comes around to this position it would want to grow in this direction so the shaft would be going up and down and that vibration then would, would carry on in, in through to the uh, to the aircraft um, so we need to eliminate this uh, source of vibration and, and we can do that then by equalizing the aerodynamic forces on on the prop equal in this case equalizing uh, the thrust forces but when i talk about the aerodynamic forces it's not just thrust it's also torque so very early on when you know when we started this course we saw that when you have thrust you're going to get torque and if we increase thrust you're going to increase torque so when we're trying to balance uh, the propeller aerodynamically we want to make sure we have equal amount of thrust and uh, equal amount of, of torque so this is an example here where uh, we've uh, the torque forces are are unequal and we can see you know to the right is a small force and to the left is a large force so the propeller shaft will want to go in this direction when the, when the blades come around then the propeller shaft will want to go in that direction and that will be our source of vibration so it's it's just the same as the the truss forces which which i just explained so how do we achieve aerodynamic balance well on this propeller blade we have a certain amount of thrust and uh, on this one we have a lower amount so what we want to do is um, maybe increase this by a bit and perhaps reduce this thrust here by a bit and we can do that by adjusting the blade pitch um, here so so let's say the blades are set up at you know an angle of 40 degrees maybe this one has to go to uh, 39 and maybe this one has to go to 42 so when we adjust the uh, pitch we should get equal amounts of, of force and this adjustment you know from whatever the, the set angle was we call this the aerodynamic correction factor the acf now when we adjust the uh, propeller so when, when we fine tune it let's say it you know um we have to to record that and it's generally recorded on a on a tag that's uh, or a data plate that's on the on the propeller so in this case uh, we say it's uh, for this blade it's q set 20 degree uh, 20 minutes fine so this means we've we've adjusted the forces so that the torque on all the propeller blades is the same and to achieve that we had to change this blade by 20 minutes in the fine direction uh, this blade is blade number two so it's telling us what this blade is it's telling us what the uh, serial number of this blade is and it's telling us what the other propeller blades in this propeller combination are so these always have to be paired together because once we once we do this correction and and balancing 
that's for those three blade combinations. So all, all of these should be the same. So if this is blade number two and this is blade number three, then blade number three should be 1972 or 1982 and similarly blade number one here would be 1972 or 1982 one or the others okay so that's if it was set by uh torque in other words that the torque force is the same on each propeller we may also have set it due to thrust so in that case we would adjust it until the thrust is the same on each propellers of the propeller blades and again you would mark it so this is q for torque t for thrust and um, I've just showed that this could be a different setting. It could be 15 minutes and it could be in the course direction. And that's, that's only as an example. That has nothing to do with this. It's only, only to show you what, how the data plate might, might change. Okay, so that's uh, aerodynamic uh, correction factor.